Gudai Australians. I found the crime weapon used in several crime cases with which the Australian Blue Army Paul Lies has committed the unforgiving crime of shooting at, aiming at, and threatening innocent kids and defenceless Australian citizens, as if it were a royal fox hunt, driving the foxes into the corner in order to intimidate and weaken your willpower. For fox sake, and stop hunting us humans too, by this pharaonic nobility. I had a hard time retracing the crime weapon, as I'm far away from Australia, and there was no intel to be found in the internet about the origins of the crime weapon, other than it is a 40 millimeter launcher, which we call in the army the 40 Mike Mike, or the 40 Mike. Here you can see underneath the barrel, this is the 40 Mike Mike. So I had to be sly in my crime investigation concerning the organized crimes of that Blue Army gang and went searching for a good picture of the rubber, rubber bullet 40 Mike Mike launcher in the hands of one of the Blue Gang members and I found just one good picture. Then I punched 40 millimeter launcher into the Google search bar in a new page next to it in order to compare all the 40 mic mics on the market with the crime weapon under investigation. And as you can see, there are a lot. So here I point 40 millimeter launcher. And I went and have a look to compare. And I, I tell you, there were a lot of them. So I had to go through a lot of pictures because they hide the information. You know. Picture after picture, well, and it goes on. Eh? And yes, I found a 100% one-to-one comparison with the Blue Gang's crime weapon. And in this communique, I'm happy to present to the distressed and frightened population the origins of the crime weapon and where the Blue Gang had purchased it. Valuable information that will hopefully lead to solve this huge organized crime by the Blue Gang and their financial backup. So here you can see this video. See the guy, he was shot in the face with a rubber bullet by a 40, 40 mic mic. And you can see the video here. This is the title and this is the channel. And here in this screenshot in the middle down, you can see the rubber bullet, uh, the 40 millimeter rubber bullet and the, uh, the blue gang member is trying to pick it up to destroy the evidence. Hopefully, the retrieval of the 40 millimeter crime weapon used by the police on many occasions in several crimes and shootouts will prove itself to be a huge blow against organized state crime, and in particular, by the Blue Gang. The name of the crime weapon presented to you in this communique is the Pen Arms 40 mm 40 Mike Mike Launcher model L140-3CER by the American company Combined Systems. 
So this is exactly the same model as I've shown you before, only this has, this is a green color and the other one is black, which the blue gang member was holding in his arms in the other picture I've shown you. You know, look, look at the, only this one is in green. L look at this part here. This is the same, the handle, it's uh, the, the, uh, the stock part. And here it says here, pen arms, which is what I explain to you later. And here's the uh, model number L1403CER. And the I'll show you the company. Here's the other mod model at the where the Australian monument was. Um, the guy was uh, the gang member in blue. He was shooting at unarmed civilians and exactly this model here where the uh, monument was with that pyramid on it and here is the here's the, the the company that sold the crime weapon csi combined systems made in the usa well, what do you know and here here it says uh, pen arms. Yeah, it says home pen arms, which is part of this CSI thing. So you can, you know, it's it's like uh, you can change it the way you like it, you know, and, and they call it pen arms because the crime weapon is manufactured in Pennsylvania, USA. So anyone who thought that Pennsylvania stood for independence and freedom USA will be disappointed as in Pennsylvania, USA, the arms get produced to oppress the Australian people. And after the great success of the 40 millimeter launchers during the Minneapolis uprising of 2020, the Australian Blue Gang thought by themselves, we also want those goodies made in USA and the collateral damage is acceptable as long as it stops an uprising. Them dumb slaves are expendable anyway. And we have reasons to believe, based upon the intel of our agent in the field, Sean Ross and ex-Rhodesian SAS, that the whole deal leads into a huge corruption affair within the Australian government through its majoritively Freemason members and their widespread nepotism. Therefore, it is necessary to scrutinize the CS logo where the Blue Gang purchased the Pen Arms crime weapon. The CS logo as the hidden hand of Freemasonry integrated in its design, which all the initiated recognize immediately. Therefore, the CS company, their first choice by the Australian Freemason government to procure the crime weapon that far away and not nearer, like, let's say, giving the million dollar deal to an Australian company. That's why the I at the end of the logo conveniently stands for international, as in Combined Systems International, whereas that international part is not even in the official name. 
as it's all hidden, you see, which is the essence of Freemasonry. It's hidden and it's global, international, to be seen, but not to be seen. At the right top, there is a typical 90 degree square. And on top of that, an orange circle representing the compass. Because with a compass, you can draw a circle. So for all the initiated, it says square and compass immediately. So you see, it says here CS combined systems. And there is an I here with a dot on it, but it's not in the name, but it stands for international because the Freemasons, they work internationally. And this here in blue for the war, it's about guns. This pharaonic war crown, it's a square, 90 degrees, as in the square and compass. And the circle here stands for the compass. Because with a compass, you can make a circle. And you may also ask yourselves why inside the B it is in white and the other letters do not have that. Well, that stands for the, for the White House, for the New World Order. So when the members of the Australian government saw that, they said, this is where we're going to buy our goodies to have the 40 Mike Mike rubber bullets rain down on the recalcitrant slaves. That'll teach them once and for all. The square defined as the concept of four in the hidden speech of Freemasonry and the compass, the concept of three which I furthermore explain in the 13-hour quadrilogy, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. And the circle on top of the square in the logo is in orange to represent their sun god, Amun-Ra, because that's where our masters eventually come from ancient Egypt. And just as in the CSI logo, the circle is on top of the square. Just as in its original form, for the compass is above the square. Because the square and base of the pyramid's hierarchy is us, the slaves. And the compass concept of three always represents them as the triangle concept of three side of the pyramids hierarchy. Now, why is it so difficult to find any intel on that 40 millimeter crime weapon? Because this is exactly what criminals do. They hide their crimes and their businesses. And the very same itinerary of crime became quite a scandal eight years ago in 2014, when 113 young Ukrainian protesters got shot to death with Swiss sniper rifles by the notorious Swiss company Brugge und Tomet from Octogon's motherland in the Alps, and about which I made this video here in 2014 on my channel Gatsefratz. Here you can see all the dead people lying around shot with Swiss guns in the Ukraine. There you go. 
This is the title, Ukrainians murdered with Swiss sniper rifles by Brugger and Tomet, Switzerland at Maidan Square. In 2000, at the end of 2014 on my channel, Hatzafratz. And after I had my video on the Swiss company Brugger and Tomet published, the terror on me and my family drastically increased because all these gun manufacturers have powerful friends within the police and justice department. Since then, the Swiss company learned and got smarter. So four years later, in 2018, when the yelling vests started in France, 11 people died during the protests and 353 got severely wounded at their heads, of which 30 boys and girls got blinded and their eyes shot out by, again, the weaponry of that notorious Swiss octagon enterprise, Brugger und Tomet who four years earlier had sold their B und T crime weapons to have 113 young Ukrainians murdered by their friends of Switzerland inside the Ukrainian Polis. So the Swiss 40 mm company Brugger und Tomet by now must have a long list of hunting trophies in their office. Quite useful as a selling argument for their next clients who come and buy some goodies in good old neutral Switzerland. So here you see the Brugger and Tomet, it's missing a G. And the name in France they gave it is the LBD 40. But the original name is the GL06. So they went into a hiding mode. Hiding mode. So that uh, was quite a smart move. And here you see the other one, also used in France and in Australia, the one of the Pen Arms. But as the company got smarter and learned from the Ukraine scandal, with an additional 113 young lives on the Swiss hunting list, the company decided to rename their arms under a different name for each different country in order to make social media investigations more difficult. So Swissies 40 Mike Mike rubber bullet launcher the Brugger und Tomet GL06 short BT became the notorious LBD40 in France, maiming hundreds of protesters for life in France, of which 30 people having glass eyes now, like a marble stuffed into the socket. So here you can see both the names of the same weapon by Brugger und Tomet. The original name is GL06, but in France they use it as the LBD40, you know, to make the surge more difficult and probably also in case of a, a um, jurisdictional um, complaint, you know, like... Um, they might say, okay, the people got hurt by the LBD-40. And they say, no, 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 we're selling the GL-06. You know? Very sly, you know. And the original name of the LBD-40 was the GL-06. So a completely different name for the same weapon. To make the search, the source search, almost impossible. To, tra to track the crime weapon down to its origins. 
So we can all see this is very organized crime. They prepare their crime. They anticipate certain possibilities. They discuss it with lawyers. They're changing the names, you know, so we can't trace them. And this is in Wikipedia, of course, it says BT. And here it says controversies and criticism. I'll read it out loud for you. The Brugger and Tomet APR, whatever that means, licensed Ukrainian production was used by Ukrainian security forces against the Ukrainian people during the Euro Maidan demonstrations. Evidence of their use by Yanukovych regime snipers are documented in photos and video recordings. In 2009, the Swiss state secretary for economic affairs approved Brugger and Tomet's know-how transfer to the manufacture of small arms to a Ukrainian company. So you see the, uh, the Swiss government is involved in this crime. And they know, you know, if you, if you, it's about arms. I mean, arms are going to use, you know, to, to kill people, especially a sniper rifle. And I mean, Ukraine, that's Europe, right? A Seco spokeswoman confirmed to the Swiss Zandagszeitung, in addition, individual parts to the manufacture, well, etc. So I go on here, and that was the Ukraine, and here, the French police used the GL06 launcher during the 2018-2019 Yellow Vests movement and various demonstrators received serious injuries. In a statement on B&T Brugge und Tomet website, the company denied its culpability in the injuries. Well, of course they do, yeah. I mean, they... Um, they they produce an arm to uh, to hurt people and to maim people. They sell an arm, you know, premeditatedly, and they know the arm is there to hurt people. But, oh no, we are neutral Switzerland. You know, we never done something wrong, right? And, you know, th this is a very precise arm. It's it's the best on, at the in the market, you know, it's... Uh, Swiss precision, as they said, as they are so proud of. Right? You can uh, you can knock somebody's eyes out in uh, at fifty meters, apparently. So this is like the Rolls Royce of the of the forty mils, the forty millimeter arms in Tune, Switzerland. There you go, nice Templars cross. And as usual. Let's have a look at their logo, if they are Freemasons or not. First of all, it's strange, isn't it, that they put a circle around the at uh, sign. At is and in Latin. You know, it says like here's the T and this is the E. And uh, the circle is here, you know, for the compass, the concept of three. So, and here is a square in the T. So this is all here. But it's very, uh, and of course, I mean, they're selling to the government, you know, weapons. So of course they're Freemasons. There's no doubt. And this, the whole thing looks a bit like an eye because they're shooting people's eyes out as in the all seeing eye. You know, it's, it's also a satanic ritual, you know. They try to shoot out the eyes. And as this Swiss arm is so precise, you know, so they, they all want to buy this, all governments. This is the Rolls Royce of the uh, the 40 mic mics. And um, here it's a part of a circle. And you see uh, it's, it's about one quarter. So you can imagine there are four quarters, uh, three quarters left here of the, of the big line here. So this is the concept of three and four, because here's the one taken off and you get three, you know, the concept of three. And if you, t if you put them all together, the one and the three, well, you get four for the whole circle. And again, for, a, for the, uh, the thin line, it's the same story. 
I, I wonder why they did it like this, you know, like a thick and thin here. Usually it should it should just stop here and like nothing here. But they have a reason for it. Nothing is done without a reason. But anyway, the, the circle around the uh, the the unt sign, well, that's very obvious. And you're not going to sell any weapons to the government if you're not a Freemason. It's as simple as that. So this Swiss company, Brugger und Tomet, they already had 113 young Ukrainians murdered uh, four years before in 2014. And four years later, in 2018, they sold the weapons again to France so they could maim 30, 30 young French people. They lost their eyes because of the Swiss. So how is it possible? They just go on and they go on and they go on. Just like this here. Nazi rockets were built with Swiss precision parts by ABB in Switzerland. You know, they say, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, you know, and we don't do it again and we are so neutral and it just goes on, you know. 113 people dead in the Ukraine. Four years later, they do the same thing in France. Many people lost their hands. They got their skulls uh, smattered, you know, because of uh, if, if you get a 40 mil in your, in your head, you know, you, you got a big crunchy hole in it. So watch this video of mine. I made it also in 2014 uh, during that uh, Ukrainian uprising and knowing that the Swiss were dealing weapons. And um, it's called the Swiss Military Industrial Complex and the Chris Vector Super V from Switzerland on my channel, Gatsefrats. Go and watch it. It's only 40 minutes. <laughs> So Australians should follow the French example as this here and show the world how the so-called freedom lovers of USA, Pennsylvania, sell their pen arms L140-3CER to the Australian Blue Gang in order to maim and premeditatively mutilate defenseless Australians. Do as the French do, because they have far more experience in demonstrating and in being shot at by Pharaoh's Polis Blue Gang. Now, 2021 Australia, it is even more difficult now as their proud rubber bullet cannon has no name at all anymore, except that it is a 40 millimeter launcher. And if I hadn't found that one photo of the 40 mic mic in the hands of the Australian pole lice, then I would never have been able to track it down to its previous owner in the wheeling and dealing of the Blue Gang and all their criminal contacts around the world, I had to go through a whole lot of pictures in the whole shebang before I finally found a winner. And here's your winner, this one and this one, used by the Australian Blue Gang. And to help our Australian brothers and sisters in this battle against evil. Furthermore, I even went that far as writing the US company that sold the 40 mic mic crime weapon, being fully aware that this weapon was going to be used against unarmed defenseless men and women of Australia. So I wrote them this here. CS Pen Arms, Pennsylvania, Freedom State, or whatever that is supposed to mean, eh? 
freedom state. By me, SwissTorture at gmail.com. There we go. Hi, I'm ex Rhodesian SAS, and I'd like to know why your company has sold the Pen Arms L140 hyphen 3 CER 40 mm 40 mic mic launchers to the Australian police to shoot at unarmed Australian kids. In case of not answering us immediately, adequate measures will be taken. You've got the time until noon, your time, Monday, September the 27th, 2021. Or oh, that was yesterday, and I didn't have any answer. Signed, Sean. By now, the killer company probably notified some of their friends in high places of the FB lie, saying, Oh, we got this letter, and we're so scared now. Business as usual, the state's aggressors slipping into the victim's role, so they can aggress us once more. An old government technique they call the double tap. Uh, look, they also got a, a YouTube channel. You see, you see, remember the Freemason logo here? Here the square, and here the little orange circle for the compass. And they have a website here, and this the name of their channel is called Less Lethal or LessLethal.com. It's still lethal though, but it's less lethal see what i mean double tap uh. so and they um they're making publicity here for selling a ammunition which is called venom well venom ammunition well, isn't that marvelous isn't it yeah there's a lot of interesting videos maybe some aussies wants to leave some comments here yeah, look, SWAT team and uh, how they practice all the goodies they're going to later on use on Australian citizens. I mean, you have to get your intel, guys, Australians, because here you can learn what those weapons do and you learn to recognize them. And so if you make videos about it, you can put the, the name of it, you know. It's what I do in my videos. I look for the names, I look for the origins and history and the dates of things. And this is called Intel. In the army, this is called Intel. And this is the way to, you know, to treat them. Or here, this is on another channel, probably a fan of the, um, of the pen arms. And he's the guy here, he's proudly presenting one of the uh, the eye poppers you know where they pop people's eyes out with i call them the eye poppers so it says 40 millimeter pen arms and they got all sort of rounds eh? you know here they got chalk, chalk rounds chalk rounds yeah look there's even people like commenting the pops quest, you know, popping the eyes out. Well, isn't that charming, isn't it? This is uh, this is what governments like, huh? Proudly presenting the tool to uh, to pick out the eyes. Or oh, this logo here, government supply. It says in blue for the war. There are seven things here and white for the here here it's it's in white well why do they do this why this one is in white you know well white is always the new world's order the white house you know here pen arms law enforcement and here it says law enforcement agency and government government agency sales only we do not sell to individuals or non-government organizations they probably had a couple of um, people here just civilians coming here and um, trying to buy something which they saw on TV and I thought, well, 
you know, that might be handy, you know, to solve the problems with my neighbor and uh, pop his eyes out, like, you know, as it's uh, less lethal anyway. So the government does it, so, you know, it's pro probably allowed. So look, here's a lot of goodies from the pen arms. Here you got all the models. It's like, uh, like a candy shop for governments, eh? Okay, yeah, look at that. It's a candy shop for governments. To oppress the people, to keep them down. Look at that, you know. It's a whole candy shop, you know. But, uh, well, you might lose your teeth in another way than, you know, chewing too much candy. And in France, there were many people who lost their teeth. There were many photographs and all the teeth gone, you know. That's because of the uh, government candy shop. I'll show you a picture if I find it. All the goodies out of the government candy store for the government. And no goodies for the people. Because in a real good duck shoot, well, you better see to it that the ducks are not shooting back. I'll read it for you. In 96, 97, the Australian government took the guns. In 2021, the Australian government is committing tyranny against the unarmed people. Yeah, this is what the government candy store did to a young Frenchman. And there are many, many more like this. Mm, done by a um, Brugger and Tomet or Pen Arms, 40 millimeters. Well, you all know that too much candy is not good for your teeth, eh? Especially when it's government rubber candy. That's a bit hard to chew, ain't it? If they don't reply me to my letter, with a satisfying answer, I will take the adequate measures that I promised them, and amongst others, publish this video and reveal the name and origin of the crime weapon, in the hope that you Australians do the rest. Get this intel out, spread it worldwide, and sue the company. You must do the second part yourselves, because I can't do it all. For instance, ask your American contacts on social media to sue the company on their own ground in the US itself. And here you can see a victim of rubber bullets in America from last year. You have to get organized, as in the Latin saying I once made, non facet pugnum digito uno, with one finger only, one cannot make a fist. Here it says on my other channel, Gatze Frats, in the about section, non facet pugnum digito uno, with one finger only, one cannot make a fist. The Pen Arms Company from US Pennsylvania knew for what their weapon was going to be used for when they sold it to the Australian Blue Gang. So they were absolutely conscious about it. So it means Australians can sue them for having committed a premeditated crime, and that's a serious issue in a US court of law. And this picture here was an American who got shot in the eye with a rubber bullet last year. So apparently in France, they also have the pen arms. The, the French uh, people, they recognized it. They did their uh, information, uh, looking for the information. And it's the pen arms PGL 65 um, hyphen 40. And it says here it's the new mate of the CRS, which is the French uh, riot police. So here it is, I'll show it to you. Uh, there you go. The same one is in Australia. Here, the pen arms PGL 65 
Ivan 4O. Also in France, same as in Australia. This person here got shot with a rubber bullet. A picture from a screenshot I took from social media because official TV crews and newspapers blend these sort of pictures out in order to twist the truth and say that their poor polis was hurt and aggressed. As usual, the state aggressors slipping into the victim's role. So I propose someone collects all the pictures of wounded people and put them online. So maybe we can make a knot in the whole affair. So this picture is from France, just like the other picture just before. It says here, the police protects us and uh, they, um, they shoot out our eyes. The gun and 40 millimeter launcher being shown here is of course the Swiss Brugger and Und Tomet, the LBD-40 or they changed the name from GL-06. Uh, I swear say. Here are some Australian police and army badges full of Templars crosses, octagons, crowns and Freemason symbols referring to whom the Blue Gang actually serves and where they actually come from. So here you see this is from 2009 and this is 2019, the same Blue Gang. And um, it shows in both, in red and white, the original Templars colors, a Templars cross in the middle. So that's why all these organizations, they all come out of the Templars. And it says here, with honor we serve. So whom do they serve? Well, not you, because they're shooting at you. So they are serving what you see here on top. And that's the crown, you know, Pharaoh's nobility. And on top here is a Templar's cross because the nobility nowadays, it's a constitutional nobility. And here it's red for the Pertasse, a red house of Pharaoh, which is the old world order where they all came from. And that's why it's on this crown, you see a Templar's cross, a fleur de lis, and it goes all the way around like this, you know. One time it's Templar's Cross and one time a Fleur de Lis because the old world order, they come out of the Fleur de Lis and the new world order, they come out of the Knights Templars. And there's even the belt here, the garter of the Order of the Garter. You see here, you can fix it. And this is the end of the belt here with a couple of holes in it. So actually it's the Order of the Garter and the Knights Templars and whom we serve in the middle by the blue for the war crown, the blue army, they are like protecting the uh, the inner circle, which is, is the crown. That's the inner circle. There's nothing without a reason in all these logos and um, police badges and army badges. And here's a uh, a globe, meaning they rule the world, which which they do. And uh, well, th this is very concealed, the Order of the Garter. You have to see my film about the Order of the Garter, about this. Just punch it in my channel, Order of the Garter. This is an older badge of the police. And uh, you can see it very clearly here, the Garter here, of the Order of the Garter. Because the Order of the Garter, here it says the Queensland police. And the Order of the Garter, are the ones who unified this here, the Templar's cross and the crown. They unified the new world order together with the old world order. And this is why you've got here like one Templar cross, one Fleur de Lis, one Templar cross and so forth. It's, it's very clear this is the order of the garter. Here's the world and um, Australia's not even on it. <laughs> uh, 
it's, it's from Australia, but it's not even on it, you see? <laughs> You're not on it. It's a big club. Um, you ain't in it, you know? It says International Police Association. Servo per amiqueco. I don't know what that means. Australia. And the whole thing is in an octagon. See my film, Octogon, The Empire of Darkness. Because Octogon is the top, it's a secret organization. It's the top of the Nazi Templars. Uh, it's an organization I infiltrated. It was very dangerous. This is the Royal Australian Engineers. Uh, the crown, of course. All these badges have the crown because you're being ruled by the crown. It's the crown who's shooting at you. And here's the Order of the Garda in blue, of course, for the war, the war crown of Pharaoh. And it even says, says so, Oni Swaki Mali Pans. Be ashamed, the one who thinks bad of it. That's what it means. It's a uh, organization from the 15th century. Uh, unifying the Knights Templars and the um, and the Royals. E R. So what does the crown have to do on a, an Australian army badge? Eh? You don't have a king or a queen, don't you? Well, the, the queen is on the other side of the dip, eh? telling you what to do. Oh, here's the blue gang with all thick arms to um, to intimidate you. And here on the car, there is the Freemason checkerboard configuration, which you find in every Freemason lodge or Freemason temple. And these are the pharaonic colors, red, white, and blue. See my video, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. And here, in blue and white because blue is the war crown you know the blue gang pharaoh's war crown and white is the new world order so predominantly these colors blue and white and a little bit of red as we found recently i showed you in that picture about the um, um the arc de triomphe wrapping with a little red cord it's exactly the same same meaning the same thing, blue and white Freemason checkerboard here, Templars cross, because these ones, the Freemasons, they come out of the Knights Templars. The Knights Templars were a mili and still are a military order, so they needed a political wing, which are the Freemasons. And on top of that, you know, where, the, where it all comes from is the crown, because they all come out of Pharaoh's nobility. And these here, the V's here, double V, it's a Templar V. Uh, you find the same thing, but on the other way around, because in America it's the other way around, with the uh, pointing upwards, like uh, being a sergeant or a corporal. And um, it's at the entrance of the of the pyramid, when the Knights Templars came there. Even on her head, she has the, uh, the Freemason affiliation, the uh, checkerboard motive. And look how they, they look happy. Well, probably because they just got a new car by the boss. Right? Yeah, Royal Australian Artillery. Look here, we all see the Templars cross here. But before, there's the crown. Th these are the two powers of our masters. The, uh, the, they have two camps. The, the Royals here with the crown. And the Republicans, the um, the Templars cross in blue for the war crown of Pharaoh and white for the uh, New World Order, the White House of Pharaoh, the Per Hat. And here, the thing that the whole thing is in a square. It's also predominantly red and white Templars colors because all these armies and all police they all come out of the Knights Templars. So this is in a square, as in square and compass. In the middle, there's a little circle for the compass. So it does say square and compass. For So on one side, you're waging war for the Freemasons and the New World Order, so the Republicans. And on the other side, you know, you're waging, you're risking your neck for the royals, 
So the royals here as well, the royals and the republicans. And it also looks like a Templar's cross, which comes out of a, a pyramid. Watch my video um, from a pyramid to a swastika. I show it in that one. The blue gang doesn't serve you, the people. They serve the crown only and their Freemasons. And they come out of the Knights Templars and their Octogon. Watch video Octogon, the Empire of Darkness, to understand the Octogon of the Knights Templars, which you can see all over in the Australian police badges. There it is on my other channel, Gatsefrats Octogon, the Empire of Darkness. The Po Lies, Blue Gang, are here to oppress the slaves and to protect their pedophiles from the slaves. Like the Australian Rolf Harris, here doing the satanic 666 hand sign and his disgusting song from 1969 about two little boys who had two little toys who played gaily and mounted together on one horse, which is, of course, a reference to the Knights Templars, who were Satanists and Pink List killers, showing two Templars on one horse in their official seal of the Knights Templars. Therefore, Mr. Harris is without any doubt a Freemason. As the Freemasons come out of the Knights Templars. So when Rolf Harris needed help to get out of the pedophile case he was being accused in, he got all the help of his Freemason pals who always help each other, like two little boys on one horse. Just as Jeffrey Epstein got their help in two serious rape cases and walked away a free man, twice, after having raped dozens of underage girlies. This is the type of system we're in, where our masters protect their pedophile friends and shoot at unarmed kids with their 40 millimeter rubber bullets. Now, here's the song of a convicted pedophile, Rolf Harris, entitled Two Little Boys. Two little boys had two little toys. Well, you know, what kind of little toys you think he's talking about, a pedophile, eh? And in the whole lyrics, the whole text, there's no talk about any toys at all, you know? So he doesn't talk about any further toys. Each had a wooden horse and gaily, you know, you know gaily they played each summer day. Well, I don't have to, I'm probably not allowed to explain that one, eh? In the uh, because of the censorship, and you can read it yourself. Yeah, I'll read it for you. Warriors, both, of course. I start at the beginning. Two little boys had two little toys, each had a wooden horse, gaily they played each summer's day. Warriors, both, of course. One little chap then had a mishap. What does he mean with that, eh? Broke off his horse's head. I think that's a reference to sort of to the um, to the French king being decapitated in, under the guillotine. Wept for his toy, then cried with joy. As it, why why with joy all of a sudden? As his young playmate said, 
Do you think I would leave you crying when there's room on my horse for two? It is definitely Knights Templars, They're, you know. And the Freemasons, you know, they come out of the Knights Templars. That's why the, guy, what's, that's why the bloke, he got a lot of medals, you know, and all the protection in the world. So climb up here, Jack, you know, and don't be crying. I can go just as fast with two. When we grow up, we'll be soldiers, Templars, eh? And our horses will not be toys. Hmm. Our horses will not be toys. All of a sudden, there are more than one horse. Our horses will not be toys. I mean, they're waging a war on us, you know? And I wonder if we'll remember when we were two little boys. Long years had passed, war, war came so fast. Bravely they marched away, cannon roared loud, and in the mad crowd, wounded and dying lay. Up goes a shout, a horse dashes out, out from the ranks so blue. Oh, there you go, the blue, the blue gang. There you go, people, because it's the war crown of Pharaoh, the blue war crown. Gallops away to where Joe lay. Then came a voice he knew. Did you think I would leave you dying when there's room on my horse for two? Knights Templars, you know, and then Freemasons, they never leave each other alone, you know, they always help each other. In court, like Jeffrey Epstein, and, you know, they just rub their necks and, you know, they're, they're going to be helped by the other Freemason. Or, uh, he's, of course, a judge. All these judges are Freemasons, all these presidents. Climb up here, Joe. We'll soon be flying. Yeah. I can go just as fast with two. Did you say, Joe, I'm all a tremble? Perhaps it's the battle noise, but I think it's that I remember when we were two little boys. Do you think I would leave you dying? There's room on my horse for two, Knight Templars. You know, why, why would he say this, you know? There's room on my horse for two. It's Knights Templars, you know. Climb up here, Joe. We'll soon be flying back to the ranks of blue, the blue gang of the Polis. Can you feel, Joe? I'm all to tremble. Perhaps it's the battle's noise, but I think it's that I remember when we were two little boys. Well, it's all a reference, you know, this, I mean, why do you think in 1969 it got such a hit, the whole song, in the first place, eh? It's all by them, you know, only their songs, you know. We make, the people, we make beautiful music and you never hear it on the radio, eh? Never. Only hear garbage. The enemy within does not shoot at each other. They help each other like two little boys on one horse. And you never see the blue gang shooting rubber bullets at their pal, Rolf Harris, do you now? Instead of that, they gave him a medal. The Australian government awarded their pedophile pal with an Australian centenary medal and honored him by making him an officer and a knight of the Order of Australia. While all over the world, Rolf Harris, his polis bells, shoot at you with 40 millimeter launchers. This is the rotten world we live in, people. Our pharaonic masters give a medal to pedophiles while they shoot at innocent kids with a 40 millimeter cannon from the Freedom State. We have now all God's given rights to strike back against this evil. Now watch this film here. Fight now or perish all. And God wants you to forget about those entirely useless Ten Commandments for a while.
they call the members of this Freemason order of the Knight of the Order of Australia, which is the Australian equivalent of the Order of the Garter, where its members wear a lace jarretiere garter around their upper thigh, which I explain in this video here. Now look, this is a note from the Australian government, a, a communique, and the Prime Minister. It says the Australian federal government has continued, uh, continued to allow a national honour to remain in place for former entertainer Rolf Harris. So they continue to honour him. No problem for them, eh? For five years after he was convicted in the United Kingdom of indecently assaulting four children in July 2014. So they just go on and honour him. And here they are lying in the next one here. The Australian government stripped Harris of his officer and member of the Order of Australia Honours in February 2015, but not re resigned a third national honour, a centenary medal awarded to Harris in 2001 for his, between brackets, service to entertainment, charity and the community. Uh, what, what kind of community then, eh? Um, but they lie, as usual. They never stripped Harris of his officer and member of the Order of Australia. Never. Because these are guys walking around with a garter around their upper thighs because it, it's, a, it's the equivalent of the Order of the Garter, the Australian Order of the Garter. And they lie, as usual, you know. The lie is their biggest and first weapon. I'll tell you what they did with him. He, they honoured him even more. He's now the big hero being a knight of the Order of Australia. That's what he is now. They honour him even more for what he did because this is the things what they do, you know? Brotherly love. That's the Knights Templars, that's the Freemasons, and uh, well, that's what they do, you know. With, uh, well, there it is in Wikipedia, the Order of Australia, the Knights of the Order of Australia, which is the Australian equivalent of the um, Order of the Garter. And this is the one that um, the pedophile uh, convicted pedophile Rol Rolf Harris, what he got honoured with. Look, a lot of bubbles if you ask me. And uh, it, they all have a crown, so you know where it all comes from, all the whole evil. So, um, well, I don't think I would like to receive one, because all the horrible things you have to do for it to get one. No thanks. And... Um, it's the same thing, Templar's Cross. It all comes out of the Knights Templars. The Templar's Cross is above because they might they made this horizontal rule. They won the battle with the nobility. They, they well they come from the nobility. That's why um the crown is underneath the Templar's Cross. Like uh, England and Australia, well England is a, a constitutional monarchy. The Constitution is this, Knights Templars, see my film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. And the monarchy is this, in red here, because that's the, um, the Bertasse, the Red House of Pharaoh. And the Knights Templars here is the White House, the Perhet. And that's why there is, because they all rule together now. It's a Templars cross, Fleur de Lys, which is a symbol of the monarchy. Templars cross and so forth. It goes on all the way around it. I hear a lot of bubbles. Right? You know, they're, they're like bubbles in the champagne as they, you know, they're drunk with the blood of the saints. And uh, so this is what Rolf Harris, you know, what he got honored with. And he, he got two more medals. And uh, 
So here is the, uh, what does it say, the neck badge of a Knight of the Order of Australia. Um, so there it is. You see the, um, this is the medal you saw it in the picture, the medal he got and the blue. You know, there are four blue things around for the concept of four and then in the middle of a circle for the concept of three. And each blue one represents, of course, a fleur de lis. And they all, all these medals, they all have a crown on top of it, you know, where it all comes from. This one with the bubbles. This one is the Order of, the, um, the Order of Australia. The Order of the Knights of Australia. And this belt here is the garter, where it says Oniswa Kimalipals which is the, um, the, lo the uh, slogan of the, uh, the Order of the Garter. So that means the Order of Australia, it's an equivalent, the Australian equivalent, you know, with an Australian birdie birdie on it, for the, uh, the Order of the Garter. You've got a Templar's Cross, and again, a Templar's Cross. Here, a Templar's Cross with like you know, a strange one with seven things on it. Here again, a fleur de lis on top of it. This looks like the Isis horns here. It's it's occult. It's all hidden, and it's all you know. It's it's all coming out of ancient Egypt. And I mean, the aristocracy, the nobility, they were always into Satanism and into raping kids and raping women. You know, here they talk about the gender breakdown. Well, that's what they're doing, eh? So, yeah. So, it's a lot of Templars crosses dangling underneath, like here. You know? Dangling underneath the order, because the French king, he didn't lie when he burned the Knights Templars in Paris, saying they were Satanists, Sodomites, and Pinkless Killers. And each medal of the order which Rolf Harris received has a crown on it, referring to the origins of our masters. A lot of impressive medals to impress any, more, any two more boys with two little toys, eh? To impress two more boys with two little toys. Very impressive medals and uniforms and all that. All of a sudden, it all makes sense. This Rolf Harris and what happened and why the blue gang, Paul Eyes, protected him while they administer total tyranny on the people of Australia and all peoples of the world. And all these pink list killers love the uniform. Just like in the Two Little Boys song or the Pole Eyes Blue Gang. Because sodomy is the essence of hierarchy. Either they fuck up their subordinate or you get fucked up by your superior so the two little boys in the blue army even get sexually stimulated by dominating you by throwing you on the ground and lie on you or shoot you in your butt with a 40 millimeter butt gun. Because after Rolf Harris, his two little boys had grown up, they said to each other before going to bed, Honey Pan, shall I dominate you tonight? Or are you going to dominate me?